Oh, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome back to another episode of One Mike Night Talk. It's Marcos Luis here. Yeah, it's with Elizabeth Green. It's Ashley Elizabeth Green, screenwriter, actress, incredible person. Thank oh, you. Listen. Yeah, what's going on, Ashley? How you doing? Oh my gosh, I am amazing today. Good. Um, I have a question for you. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Yeah, yeah. But listen, we, uh, for those of you who are listening right now, this podcast is broadcast from New York City. Oh, he looks sexy, y'all. City. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, he looks sexy, y'all. He got like, eh, the baby boo. It's, it's summertime. It's spring. We're looking forward to spring here in New York City. Oh, honey. Right? Oh, yes. But the question is, so we're in New York City, and New York City just lifted the a few mandates, one of yes. which being, you know, asking for vaccines when you enter small places, small businesses, theaters, yeah. um, uh, uh, you know, COVID, you know, mandate, all those, the masks, all those things. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How do you feel about it? Boy, first off, I've been one of those people on a train where I don't wear a mask. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I be seeing people's judging looks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but I do this because I get hot with those masks. But the one thing I do to respect other people's space, I don't sit beside people who have the mask on. I stand, you know, by the um, the doors. You know what I mean? So right. I give people that space because I know how some people are. Right. Um, I'm very excited. Um, but there's a part of me that's not excited because I'm one of those people I probably should have took advantage of um, like other things that were super, super cheap. Should have been, like I should I probably should have traveled a little bit more because things are like super cheap. Yeah, yeah, true. That's so true. Um, apartments were super cheap. Right. You know what I mean? There's certain things I'm just like, man, I could have took advantage a little bit more. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah, because I think, you know, the government, mm, I don't want, listen, I don't want to go in on the government, but we, the there was so, because it wasn't just, a, <laughs> it was so much uncertainty around exactly yeah. what was happening. So that instilled a fear in the yeah. public, not to say that what is actually happening isn't to be feared. I'm just saying yeah. that, you know, we, we felt a lot more pressure and a lot more um, caution possibly then we we needed to it it really created a post a ptsd for most people oh definitely i mean because i felt that like early in september i was feeling like that but i really wish i stayed in mexico for a whole summer right yeah i I wish i did that during the pandemic like when i was there you know the last time like for nine days i wish that summer i stayed there from june to august for the whole time Instead of me trying to stay there now for like a month, I wish I would have just stayed there for last time because it would have been cheaper. Like just the cheapness of it all. Right. When I mean, I say cheap, um, at least expensive, I would say. So I wish I did that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like the world, we, you know, we said this before in, in some of our other episodes, but the world was on pause. Like everything oh, stopped, yeah. everything shifted. Right. The whole world shifted. Do you think do you think the American dream shifted or do you think the way people think about life shifted? I think the American dream shifted because that's exactly what it is. It's a dream. Ooh. ooh. You wake up, it doesn't happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? So oh, yeah. I think you know what I mean? I think that's what we notice is that there's certain things of the American dream that we don't want anymore. I think I think the pandemic opened people's eyes of why are they working um, like 60, 70 hours, leaving their families, their relationships are dying. I think people really took accountability in their life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I met so many people, even like on um, like social media and even like um, not in person as much. But when I would go over friends' houses, they would have their friends over. We had so many discussions of like the things that we want to do different. You know what I mean? Right. And sometimes the American dream to have the houses and the cars and all that. We probably still want those things to a point, but I don't think that that's not, um, it doesn't validate us like it used to. Or it's like the way we want to get it, 
well, like, I don't want to, I don't want to work these many jobs That's or yeah. you know what? I don't want to go to school no right. more. Right. I want to like, like now it's like we're willing to take different, different alternative routes. routes. Yeah. Different yeah. routes. You got it. Absolutely. Yeah. Take different routes to get either the same thing or get something different because the way that we look at life and our, our final outcome, what we project as our final outcome and goal has changed. It's completely different. Like I know for, for sure, because of this pandemic, I connected, reconnected and connected with friends and people who are important to me. I wanna make memories. I wanna have, you know, the here and now relationships. In addition to finding a different route to get to where I wanna go. Yeah, I still wanna have a house, but what do I wanna have a house for? Maybe it's to, you know, uh, increase a value so that I can do something else better with my life so I can, teach people how to get houses or I can, you know, give money to uh, societies or whatever. But yeah, like right. my whole perception of, of the way life was has changed. Oh yeah, definitely. I know my perception has changed is that, like, I know people say like, um, comfort is like the <clears throat> the worst thing to have or it's, it's like, I don't believe nothing that they're saying. I'm like, I like comfort. I like comfort. I like peace. I notice. Mm -hmm. I like having slow mornings. I notice. That's how I can navigate my life in the hu the hustle. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I don't listen to any more anybody anymore about comfort. Get I just feel like what hurts me the most is always burning out. And when you burn out. All you do is this. You go really hard, right? Yeah. For maybe two to three weeks. All of a sudden, you burn out. Sometimes you burn out and you're done for a whole month. Right. That means I'm not being consistent in nothing. So I just decided, Ashley going to do what Ashley do best. She's going to have comfort. She's going to have happiness. She's going to be less anxiety. She's going to have her slow mornings. That's what I'm going to do. So I just made a decision of like, my hustle is not going to be like really hustling. It's going to be more aligning to what I need in my life. Right. You know, and so I think the question, the real question is, is how do we provide that? You know, of course, living in a city like this, like New York, you know, there's certain things that we do. It's like yes. always, it's just a mentality. It's the mindset of people here in New York that are always hustling. You got to go on to the next thing. Or if I'm a minute late, I miss something. And what, you know, I don't want to be a minute late. Cause I gotta, I gotta get the next thing and I gotta get the next best thing. And I gotta, like it's like a keep a cycle that just keeps generating the anxiety you know where how do we find the peace how do we get to that place you know i'm sure people that live in rural america their comfort is completely different than what our comfort <laughs> right. is you know they don't right. need all the you know the bells and whistles we're not they're not trying yeah, to keep up with no. the joneses you know um, I think I think it's like with anything, I think you need to figure out what works for you. Right. Like what works for you as in not what worked with you during the pandemic two years ago before the pandemic with your hustle. No, 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 no. We all have evolved and changed in some shape and form, right? Mm -hmm. What works for you now? Right, yeah. Like, what works for you now? Right. And what doesn't work at all is inconsistency that doesn't work for anybody not for anybody but nobody right. inconsistency don't work for anybody right because i think regardless it brings anxiety in i'm not doing this enough da, da, da. that's what i'm saying so what can you have to, it's a check-in time for yourself who i am right now what do i need right now to check in with myself to have consistency in my life. And I mean consistency in working out, in your health. Yes. I mean consistency mentally, being stable, emotionally stable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like consistency so you're not always having these little mini breakdowns. Consistency, consistency. taking time off to regenerate yeah. and revive yourself. Yeah. Yeah, like checking in on yourself, like knowing, okay, knowing yourself before you have those little breakdowns. Like where, where am I going? Like, okay, when I look at my week, where am I going wrong? Oh, maybe I'm trying to do too much in one day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or maybe I'm saying yes to too many things when I really want to say no. Right. You know, yeah. maybe I'm over committing myself. Right. Because think about it. We're still in the season 
we're getting, well, let me say this. We're getting out of the season of winter, right? So I feel like as human beings, especially living in New York City because of the hustle, we keep saying to ourselves, we can do the same hustle all year round. No, things are always in season. So you have to grow into a different season. Absolutely, yeah. You have to change you know, with it too, right. You have to change with the seasons. Mm -hmm. And I believe my winter, after I stopped like frustrating myself when we were talking before, it was like, girl, it's winter. Incubator says season. Right. You know, yeah. it's time to incubate. It's time to be peaceful. It's time to reflect. It's not maybe not really a time to hustle like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a time for you to figure out what you want to do. So when the spring hits, you're refreshed. You're ready to go. Yep. Ready to go. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and also I noticed this winter was working out, being consistent, taking care of my mental, um, cooking more for myself to get myself spiritually happy. You know what I mean? That's yeah. my own self care. And I just feel like in this season, it's something different. I wanna go, I wanna film. I, you know, it's just certain things that I need to do. Right, and you, you're you right. The seasons do have an effect on it. You know, when we get into fall, the, the mood changes, what we do changes, the way we do things change. And then you yeah. head into, you go into winter where it's more internal, you know? And it also, you know, you have to be careful with winter too, because a lot of people reflect and then it becomes a somber time when, you know, if you're not taking care of yourself mentally, it becomes yeah. like a depression. So you but that's what I'm saying, you need to, that's I believe, movement with body, yes. working out, any type of movement. I'm not talking about just the gym. I'm talking about whatever you need to do, take a class, be around people because sometimes in winter right. we you isolate still need ourselves. that. I'm not yep. talking about because when I talk about incubation, I'm talking about like you do that in a manner of like sometimes more mentally than physically sometimes. Yes, for sure. Because you do need to be around people. You need to feed off of energy. You know what I mean? For so sure. yeah, definitely. So what do you think about do you think people have sort of given up the American dream? The American dream, yeah, and and just like is that just a new a thing now? Like people quitting their jobs, people. Yeah. I think a lot of people, like I was telling you, um, I've been really um, watching a lot of videos where there's a lot of um, black expats that are doing an exodus into like Puerto Rico, Costa Rica, South Africa, mm -hmm. you know, Spain, um, Paris, you know, especially Mexico. I think a lot of people. I think it's two things happening. I think a lot of people don't want the American dream because it really isn't real sometimes. Um, but I also think people have given up on, maybe that's not gonna happen. So maybe I need to do a new dream. Right. You know, I think some people are just like, you know how you watch movies, you're like, I wanna have that big house in Hollywood and I wanna have all of this. And you realize like, there's, <laughs> if you think about it, right? Keeping it real. There's nothing in your life that you're doing that's gonna get you that big house and car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like if you are a student or if you are not having your own business or or there's certain things. If you look at how much money is coming in per month, yeah, there's no way you're gonna navigate and get that house and car. Right. So, you're, you're talking about like following the old traditional way yeah, that the, the people are trying to obtain right. the American life. Right. right because right. times have changed. We're moving into a modern world world exactly. now people are actually moving into a more digital way of doing things yes. which is the way that people are making money as well you know so yeah the whole american dream that 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 old traditional yeah. 1950s working nine to fives or nine to five nine that's to different eight or whatever and getting mbas and working for somebody and then they have this like two hundred thousand school loan right you know all the that's i just done. think some people yeah, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying that's done, you're right. That's absolutely done yeah. because now, especially with the newer generation, what is it, Generation Z or what, whatever they are, yeah. you know, they're they're finding, like I said, in a digital world, these, you know, people are, are, are doing things on social media, which we, you know, older people think, well, why is he, you know, why is they doing that on, on you know, the Instagram, it, on TikTok. but it's also a monetary and financial, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's lucrative. That stuff is it lucrative. Is. So and we it's have, like you have we to have to is either even if you don't want to do that, what I'm even learning, you need to figure out what your new hustle is gonna right. be. Right. <laughs> like exactly. because if you're thinking about it right, in the digital age we live in, there's a way to make great money without working for somebody. Right. Yep. 
And it's just like, you need to hop on that. Right. And if you're not hopping on that, then I don't know what to tell you. Like you, you're literally going to be, like you said, you're working the old way of how to get the, the American dream. And you don't have to you do You don't that. have to. It really is back to that old cliche expression, yeah. work smarter, not harder. Yeah. Like exactly. finding the new innovative ways to work, you work a couple of hours and you still make the same amount of money or more, you know, so. Oh, my phone died. So we really have to, you know, respect the people who have the hustle and who have the drive to do it in a new innovative way. So now the way the American dream has has shaped up is different from everyone. Right now we have, you know, the president of the United States, Joe Biden, having a call for people to go back to work in the nine to five jobs to fill up the downtown, to fill up the buildings. And yes, our economy is based on the capitalistic society. And we need those people, but also they're those people who have started businesses, who can work remotely, who work from home, you know, and so there is a new way of life now. And so which path do you follow? Which path are you going to follow? You know, do you do you continue to do that old traditional way and have your side hustle? That's a question that we need to we need to find out the answer to. I know what I'm doing. Let me know what you guys think about it. And uh, hit me up. You can follow us on the show at One Mike Night. One Mike Night is spelled O N E M I C N I T E. Or you can hit me up direct at Marcos Luis, M A R C O S L U I S. And as you see, you can hit Ashley up at Ashley Elizabeth Green on Instagram. You can follow her. Or you can follow her on Twitter at Ash Inspired Living. And I'm Marcos Luis on everything. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode of One Mike Night Talk. And thank Ashley thanks you as well. As you see, we had a little technical problem, but we still keep it going because it's live. Drop down, write a comment below. Let me know what you think. See you next time on One Mike Night Talk. <laughs>